I wake up, I don't wanna make my bed I save up all my energy Instead you take up all the energy I have inside And I can't find a way to just ignore it And I can't really take it anymore Cause I can't stop you Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a little monthly reset. I did one of these uh, a few months back and reflect on the month of July. Um, so in July I finally got some time off because you guys know that I was doing summer school. So July is kind of officially when I felt like my summer started. As you guys know July also brought in some very big changes and Derek also changed his work schedule. Things that in August I just want to get like a little bit more consistent on. Financially looking back on July, we definitely, actually June and July, we just, I don't know who we think we are, but we're not that. So we're going to get our lives back on track for August. I have my iPad here and I just kind of sketched out um, what I want to talk about. There is four kind of categories that I am going to be doing a little reset on. For wellness, personal, my faith, and then financial. The way that I plan out my month, like a few different websites that I use. The first one being, of course, Google Calendar. I also am a very big Todoist girl. If you do not know what Todoist is, you need to go get that app right now because I could not live without it. We'll start with my personal goals the first personal goal is that I would like to spend more time with friends I used to be in college like such a social butterfly and I was always with my friends I was hardly home now I'm married and me and Derek are such homebodies these days so I do want to get myself out and just invest in my friendships this kind of dips into what I was just talking about with the Monday board so I want to get consistent on my youtube channel and the rest of my social media but you guys are watching it on youtube I'm going to post two videos a week for the whole month of august for instagram i'm going to do a little monthly challenge on my instagram where i'm going to try to post every single day on instagram so if you're not following me go ahead and do that right now so you don't miss out on any of the content i also have an instagram giveaway that i am partnering with a brand that i really really love make sure that you're following me to see all the good stuff around the house we have goals so we've gotten the living room kind of where we want it to the kitchen is fine the bathroom is fine and then this office is done now and so our next goal is for us to clean out the spare room if you're new here essentially in February right after my husband and I got married our pipes rose because of an ice storm here in Memphis we had so much water damage our ceiling came in etc so we really feel like since then our lives have just been like so crazy trying to get our house back together and our lives back together for that and it's honestly taken so long we We've been back in our house since we got back from our honeymoon which I think is like March something so it has still taken us all this time to get it together I really want to get back into journaling even if it's not every day um, I really like journaling it's something I've done all my life but I have not been consistent with that either and I do think that it will help me um, mentally emotionally to just write it out so i'm going to try to do that another goal of mine is to read five books i have become a reader thanks to colleen hoover and colleen hoover only i want to read five more books i want to dip into taylor jenkins read i have read i think like eight or nine colleen hoover books i actually have a challenge where i'm trying to read all of them so i'm currently on maybe someday so if you read colleen hoover you know leave me a little comment below tell me what you're reading i do need to find a dress uh I am reading scripture in one of my good friends wedding in September and then the last thing for personal goals I just want to get a routine together because now that I'm gonna be working from home my morning routine is a lot different than when I was teaching so I am ready to kind of get a month a morning routine a daily routine and get some structure moving into my wellness goals so Derek and I in the month of August really really want to be mindful of what we're putting in our body and how often we are exercising through Throughout the summer we just realized how bad we needed to set goals for this and so we said okay we're going on a beach trip the first week of August and after we get back from that we are going to just kind of get our lives together wellness wise that I want to drink half a gallon of water a day I actually want to drink a gallon and we have the big like water jugs of them but I want to start small with my goals because I'm pretty sure I don't even drink a half gallon a day we do want to be kind of like mindful of not overdoing the goals because we've definitely done that 
before and it just did not work. We want to walk the dogs three times a week. I need to go and work out and do a workout class at Hotworks at least twice a week. I have been paying for the membership for the longest time, probably a year now, and I have not gone in a very hot minute. I need to make the decision, either I'm gonna cancel it or I am going to start going. We want to eat in six nights a week, which we got out of control with DoorDash. We deleted DoorDash off of our phones. It's gone. Derek and I actually made like a little like schedule of how we're going to do the cooking so that it's fair to both of us. I'm gonna cook three nights a week. He's gonna cook three nights a week and then we're gonna pick one night of the week to eat out. I also want to find a new therapist and start going there. That's just like a given. I wanna get back into therapy. Haven't had a consistent therapist in probably over a year so I definitely want to like take my time and get to know a therapist and do process of elimination if I need to because that's just something that has been lacking job wise I have two different categories for this one of them is going to be my new social media coordinator job and then the other one is going to be my event planning business so my event planning business is very much a part-time gig I am not a full-time wedding planner I am only doing it part-time but I do own my own business Michaela Pierce events if you want to go follow me on Instagram on that one. I'll have my website down below. I want to work ahead on a lot of the tasks that I am going to need to do by like September, October because I have a pretty busy schedule in October wedding wise. I think I have a wedding every week um, and I think one of the weeks I actually have two. So I'm so incredibly grateful and I'm so incredibly blessed. But in order to not get super stressed out in September, I'm going to go ahead and try to do a little bit of that management planning and get ahead of the game so I don't feel like super stressed. I want to book one more client in the month of August, preferably a client for 2023. I want to post on my event planning Instagram at least twice a week. I have been terrible at this. I was trying to do three times a week and once again I set too high of a goal and I just stopped altogether. For the job that I just started, my only goal for August is to just learn as much as I can and just get going on my own. So right now I'm very much still doing things with my manager. She's been doing training Zooms with me and just kind of giving me the breakdown. She's been amazing and she has just like made sure that I am comfortable before I try to experiment on my own. So I do want to get to the point where I'm a little bit more independent in my work, but obviously this was just the first week. So that was inevitable. Last category is my faith. So that's something that is super duper important to me. So one of the biggest goals that I have just like every day and monthly and like daily is just starting every day in the word and I'm so bad about this because the first thing that I grab is my phone and then I'm scrolling for forever or I get up and I like grab my work laptop and just immediately get into that I want to make a very 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 conscious effort to stay in the word and be in the word for the very beginning of the day there are two chapters in John that I want want to annotate go through I'm in a Bible study we meet two times a month and so we're going to be going over we've been going over the book of John and so I just went ahead and put I need to do those two chapters and I really really want to once again work ahead because I don't want to like slack or not spend enough time on that one of my biggest goals in general is that I want to start the process of looking for a mentor um, I have been mentored very like lightly um, in the past and then I have mentored people but I really want to find someone who can mentor me and I know that that's going to take a hot minute to find a personality and you know uh, a walk in life that you know matches me or I guess like my needs for a mentor for finances the first goal that I have was to dissect the past two months online banking statements and I actually already did that this morning I spent two hours this morning two hours going through and looking at all of the purchases we made all of the transactions what our income was what we spent divided up into a million categories and yeah we were literally wilding i don't know what we thought we were doing but we got to reel it in i also want to stay on top of the budget weekly and then on sundays us sitting down and just like reevaluating to make sure that we are on track to meet our monthly budget and just look at the bills that are going to be coming out we also are going to look into the possibility of selling Derek's car so if you have bought a car 
the car market is crazy right now. I ended up buying a new car because it was going to be cheaper than buying a used car of my model. Back when he bought this car, my I was still driving my little Altima and it was not reliable in the slightest. I didn't have air conditioning. Uh, it was like breaking down and stuff. So it was really important that we got Derek a car that was a little bit more reliable. Now that that car completely died, we had to get my car, so now we have two car notes, and that's not really specifically something we want, especially since I'm starting to work from home and he's home four days a week. So we need to sit down and just kind of look at our options for that. We may end up keeping it, we may end up selling it, trading it in, we don't know, but we do wanna just kind of like sit down and explore that option. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this little monthly free set and you'd like to see more on my channel, go ahead and like this video and leave me a comment. Like I said, head over to my Instagram and make sure that you are following me so that you will be notified and you will be in the know for whenever that giveaway launches. You're not going to want to miss that. And go ahead and subscribe to this channel. It means so much to me and I can't wait to grow this channel. Um, so make sure that you subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Lately I've been sleeping way too much cause baby I've been dreaming about us and I can't help but wish that all my dreams came true Oh boy just wake up and I'll make it true But I'm not ever